The question of whether Jesus ever went to India is a subject of debate and speculation among scholars and historians. The traditional accounts of Jesus' life, as described in the New Testament of the Bible, do not mention any travels to India or the surrounding regions. However, there are alternative theories and legends that suggest Jesus may have traveled to India during what is known as the lost years of his life, which are not well documented in the biblical texts. These theories are based on various historical and religious texts, as well as oral traditions. The theory proposing that Jesus traveled to India to study Eastern philosophy and spirituality during his youth is based on several factors. Proponents of this theory suggest that Jesus, being an inquisitive and spiritually inclined individual, may have been drawn to the rich philosophical and spiritual traditions of the East. One of the primary influences cited in this theory is the potential interaction between Jesus and Hindu and Buddhist teachers. India, particularly during the time when Jesus is believed to have lived, was a melting pot of diverse religious and philosophical traditions. It was a land where various spiritual and philosophical ideas flourished, attracting seekers from different parts of the world. According to proponents of this theory, Jesus may have engaged in intellectual and spiritual discussions with Hindu Brahmins, Buddhist monks, and other spiritual leaders during his time in India. It is suggested that these interactions could have influenced his own spiritual development and shaped his later teachings. One of the well-known accounts supporting this theory is the work of Nicholas Notovich, a Russian journalist and traveler. In the late 19th century, Notovich claimed to have discovered ancient Buddhist manuscripts in a monastery in Ladakh, India. These manuscripts, known as the Life of Saint Issa, described the life and teachings of a figure identified as Jesus Christ. According to Notovich, Jesus had traveled to India and studied under various spiritual masters. However, it's important to note that the credibility of Notovich's account has been widely questioned and scrutinized. Many scholars argue that his claims are either a fabrication or a misinterpretation of the original texts. Furthermore, the existence and authenticity of the Life of Saint Issa manuscripts have been the subject of significant debate among scholars. Beyond Notovich's account, other proponents of the theory that Jesus traveled to India point to similarities between certain teachings and concepts found in Eastern philosophies and those attributed to Jesus in the New Testament. They argue that these parallels suggest a possible cross-pollination of ideas between Jesus and Eastern spiritual traditions. The lack of historical evidence and the reliance on disputed accounts make it challenging to establish a definitive conclusion. The traditional accounts of Jesus' life and teachings, as found in the New Testament, remain the primary sources for understanding Christian beliefs. It's important to note that the traditional accounts of Jesus' life and teachings, as presented in the Bible, form the basis of Christian beliefs. The question of whether Jesus went to India does not have a definitive answer within the Christian tradition. Go!